Hello. Hey, Bobby. Hi. How are you guys? Good. Hi. Thanks so much for doing this. I'm Nate, and this is Emmy. Hi, Bobby. Hi, Emmy. Your glasses are really cool. Thanks. Yours are too. Thank you very much. Your Christmas tree is awesome too. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, I'm going to step out of the shop. You take it from here, all right? Okay. Welcome back to Seven Questions with Emmy. I'm so happy radio host Dancing with the Stars winner and cool guy Bobby Bones is joining me today. <laughs> Thank you for calling me a cool guy, Emmy. I, no one ever calls me that. <laughs> Number one. Bobby, why did you want to host a radio show? I felt like that I had a story to tell and I could make pe people feel like they had a friend and uh, make people feel like they weren't so alone. And I think for me, people like, is that your little brother over there? Yeah, he looks like you. He doesn't look like me. Put him in here. Let me see his face real quick. Hi. What's up, buddy? Mm. He writes his name on all, he writes your name on all of his school papers. That's cool. And I write my name on all my school papers, so we're the same. What's your name, bud? I'm Everett. Well, I'm going to write Everett today on one of my papers just to make it even, okay? Okay. <laughs> all right. See you, bud. <laughs> okay. So why'd you want to become a radio host? Because I just wanted to share my story, and I felt like a lot of people would uh, not only appreciate but understand where I come from. It wasn't always the best background, but I think we're, you know, we're all very similar, and, and we... I, I just wanted to make people not feel so alone. What has been your most embarrassing moment on the radio? Um, there have been times where I forgot that I was on the air. One time, I thought our signal went down and I was just being funny. And I was still on the air telling everybody my home address, my social security number. Yeah, I just kept talking about all that stuff. I didn't know I was on the air. So that was pretty embarrassing. <laughs> We voted for you every week when you were on Dancing with the Stars, and we're so happy you won. What was it like to be on the show? It was really hard, and I could not dance very well. I'd never danced leading up to the show, um, but I practiced 12 hours a day every single day, and I did radio the whole time, too, and I toured doing comedy as well. But the hardest part was I was so bad and was coming from back so far that I never got a day off in three months because if I took a day off, I was going to fall behind. So I appreciate you voting for me and that's the only reason I won. When did you know you wanted to marry Caitlin? Uh, pretty quickly, you know. Sometimes you just meet somebody and you go, well, this is what it's supposed to be. And it was the first time in my life I'd ever felt that way. So I would say a couple of months in, I thought this is completely different than anything I'd ever been in and I'm so happy that I met her. What is something nobody knows about you that would surprise me? Something that nobody knows about me. Well, on my driver's license, I'm listed as six foot one, but if I'm being honest, I think I wore pretty tall shoes that day, and I, don't th I think I'm actually only six foot tall, but don't tell anybody. <laughs> when you are sad or having a bad day, what do you do to feel happy again? Well, now I have Caitlin here who helps me a lot, but also my dog. Like, I, I, do you have a dog, Emmy? Yeah. What's, what's your dog's name? We don't have a dog, but I thought you said that, you know, your dog. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, my dog, his name is Stanley right now, and he's a bulldog, and he was very sick for, for a long time, and he's all the way back to being healthy now. And for me, if I'm feeling down, I like to either play with Stanley, hang out with Caitlin, or play video games. What is your favorite junk food? I love all sugar. I, I mean, I love cake. I love smoothies, the non-healthy kind too. I love cookies. I still love cookies and milk. I, I'm, I love sugar so much that um, pretty much all junk food, unless it has peanut butter in it, then I have no interest. Do you like peanut butter, Emmy? Yeah. Oh, you do? What do you, what do you like as your favorite junk food? Um, I like ice cream and I like sprees. You know, both are good. Have you ever put sprees inside of ice cream? No, my dad won't let me. Well, maybe if you're really good at some point, he'll let you do that once. Now it's time for some bonus questions. <laughs> what are you thankful for this Thanksgiving? I'm very thankful that Caitlin is in my life and that I'm engaged to her now. You know, I waited a long time to, to be engaged and be married, but I'm so glad that I did because it was the absolute right decision. Um, I'm, I'm grateful that 
I'm healthy. I'm grateful that, you know, we've taken the virus very seriously and, you know, a lot of us have, have stayed inside and we, we've led by example. I'm very proud of that. And I'm just thankful for all the listeners that listen to my radio show because they make big differences in people's lives every day in a lot of different ways. If it's raising money for military charities or for St. Jude Children's Hospital, like I'm very thankful for them. We listen to your radio show when I'm driving to school. Thank you. So what are you thankful for, though? Um, lots of things. Give me a few of them here. Um, I'm thankful for my family and my friends. And, um... Thankful for a house and food and water. Water is a big one. You gotta have that water. Yeah. Yeah. Well, so where do you live? In Idaho. I was just up there. I was in Boise about four weeks ago. We were up on the the Payette River. You ever heard of that? No. Yeah. Well, I was whitewater kayaking up there. I'd never been up there before. How far are you out from Boise? Uh. Four hours. Oh, so that's a long ways away. We're in like Idaho Falls, Idaho. I know Idaho Falls too. I love Idaho Falls. Have you ever been to Idaho Falls? I've been through Idaho Idaho Falls, yes. We've driven through it. I tour a lot doing comedy or music. And so we, we came through Idaho Falls um, on tour one day. Maybe I could meet you in person sometime if you come back. Cannot wait. Once the virus is over, we'll do a show up there near you and you can come. I'll be sure to get you some tickets. Okay, what do you want for Christmas and what are you giving Caitlin? Well, it's funny you ask what I'm giving Caitlin. So what I was doing is, if you look behind me here, you see a window back in the very back? So I had secretly arranged for a fireplace that she wanted to be built back there. And she wasn't going to know about it. She wanted a fireplace. We don't have one at our house. And so I had a guy come out and, and do the fireplace and show me what it was going to look like. And we were leaving. We have to go to California to do American Idol for two weeks at the end of the year. And while we were gone, he was going to build it. Well, it was a surprise. We were both looking at my phone the other night, and I got a text message going, your fireplace will be ready. And she saw it, and it kind of spoiled that. But that, that's still what I'm going to get her, maybe another little surprise or so. Um, as far as what do I need, I'm, just, I'm pretty happy. I don't really need anything. Maybe... Um, another uh, PlayStation, maybe a PlayStation 5, because I don't have one of those yet. I've been trying to get one. I don't have one of those yet. My brother has a Sega. Yeah, is he good at it or no? He's good at it. Yeah, do you ever play? Yeah, he only lets me play sometimes. What's your favorite game on it? I like um, Dr. Bean. Have you heard of that game called Animal Crossing? Yeah. Have you ever played? I haven't played that, but, but friends were telling me about it. Is it fun? Yeah, it's fun. What do you do, though? Do you know? Like, you have, it's kind of like Crossy Road. Like, you have a pet, and you try to cross the road, but if a car hits you, you're dead, and you lose a life. Wow, okay. What about, do you ever play that game where you're all the aliens, and you're trying to figure out who each other is online? It's called Among Us? No, I don't play that. I don't either, but my friends talk about that one, too. What do you want to be remembered for? Hopefully, people will remember me for, you know, uh, making them feel included, not feel so alone. You know, I think on a couple of different levels, I like to be on the radio and entertain and make people laugh. But again, I also like to make people um, not feel like they're, they're against the world by themselves, because I felt like that for a lot of my life. And so if anything, I think that I hope people remember me for that and hopefully for giving back. Uh, I was given to a whole lot as a kid because I grew up very poor and I you know, take pride in giving back now. So I think if that were the case and people remember me for those things, I'd be very happy. Thanks for talking with me, Bobby. Well, thank you for having me. Again, your shirt's awesome, your Christmas tree's awesome, and you got a fire going right now. All are awesome. <laughs> thank you.